Hey everybody, it's your boy Salary Stick. Oh my gosh, we are back. Today we're going to be looking at greenhouse farming. Check out Wilson. He got a nice shave. He got himself a new top hat, a nice dapper vest. We're really looking pretty pimp today. We got our pimp cane and everything. The homestead's looking pretty cool. We got our, all of our cool gear set up, our deep freezer, our safe, our mega light, all the ornate chests from last time. We got all of our cool like crock pots and tiki torches set up. So the most recent addition that we have are these cool little greenhouses. Now, these greenhouses are an interesting feature to Don't Starve. This mod is pretty cool. So what I did is I built a road out this way and these are pretty much regular farm plots that'll grow at nighttime and during the winter so it's pretty cool so you don't have to worry about it so what we can do is actually like grab a let's say let's grab a dragon fruit seed and we'd actually go and plant it and now it's planted inside that farm plot and let's say we want some pumpkins we can plant those right there too so that's pretty cool and what we'll do is maybe we'll build another farm plot and then I'll fast forward a few days so we can actually see them growing. Now, it's one thing you should note that the rain doesn't actually affect their growth because that's that's how they can grow in the winter. So let's do that. Let's build ourselves a farm plot. So, pardon me, a greenhouse. So it's, as you would expect in the food tab, it's kind of like halfway down in the middle. And actually, it's pretty close to the bottom. I just have a lot of mods. For this, you need 10 boards, which is like 40 pieces of wood, 6 poop, and two heat zones a little steep but if you think about it you got crops in the winter now so if we oh, let's go build one and let's add it to the third corner of our giant little road that it goes to nowhere there we have it we got our, our little greenhouse so if we grab our regular seeds we can drop them in there and plant them and there we have it we got a few different farm plots set up now and a bunch of greenhouses so let's go and check that out. I'm going to fast forward a few days and we'll see how they're growing. See you in a bit. And there you have it, guys. Check it out. Day 96. We went ahead about three or four or five days. I'm not sure. I don't remember now. But right away, you can see our actual dragon, our dragon pie grew, our pumpkin grew, and we got some corn from our seeds. It's a pretty cool looking little, little like layout here. It's the middle of winter and they're still growing. Um, I got the hounds coming at me right now, so I'm going to get tools up. And what we'll do is we'll actually, we'll harvest this. And what we'll do is we'll also harvest our... Uh, oh, no! I guess I got to move right now. Oh, boy. And if you guys don't realize it, a day at this time, you're going to get a lot of hounds. And I'm very ill-prepared. So I'm glad I had my gear. And I'm freezing. Awesome. Now, my armor should protect me. It's not a big deal. I should just be able to hack and slash these guys without really taking much damage. There we go. Oh, man. That was crazy. Let's pick up the spoils of our victory. And uh, the, the cold is going to kill us if we don't head back. So let's head back real quick. Yeah, this Steedlocyte armor is pretty kick-ass. I always pretty much keep it on me now. Now, if we go back home, I wonder if these torches will keep us warm. What I'll do is I'll build us a, uh, a fire pit just so we don't freeze to death. There we go. We can hang out right here. So what we'll do is we'll also go and harvest this guy right here. And we'll go and plant these. And plant that one. And I'll fast forward a few more days to see them growing in the winter. I'll see you in a bit. There we go, guys. Day 99, and we got ourselves, I think, three days ahead. We got ourselves two crops. I'm not even sure what this thing is. Let's harvest that. A cabbage. Is that new? Maybe that's... I, I don't ever remember growing a cabbage. Let's, uh... What we really should do is also get a birdcage going, and maybe we'll try to harvest some more cabbage. Well, maybe next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching. That is the awesome tiny greenhouse mod. Thanks again, guys. This is an awesome mod. Check them out. If you want to see the other mods on the channel, we got like 50 different mods. Check it out. There's a link down in the description. Thanks again. I'll see you next time. Bye.